Hello, my name is Owen and welcome to what I will be reading in the month of June 2024. Uh, just giving you a look ahead about what I'll be diving into, what I'll be reading. We're already a fistful of days into the month of June, so I've already started some of these books, but I'm very excited to share this list with you. I think it's going to be a fantastic month. Uh, so the first book I'm going to talk about is the book of the month for the month of June. I announced it last week, about a week ago from today, actually. It is The Shadow of the Torturer by June. Gene Wolf. Uh, this was recommended by Jarl Trippen, a uh, friend of the channel, and I literally knew nothing about it when I picked it up. I, I find, and this is a side rant, I finally got a physical library card in my local library, and you know what? Just walking amongst the stack, the stacks of books, a near religious experience. I forgot how much I missed a physical library and just like being surrounded by the fiction. I was just going. I was like a kid in the candy store, right? I got my library card and I was just going, even though I wasn't interested in all these books, every author I could think of, I'm like, I wonder if they're in there and they were there. Oh my gosh, libraries have books. Who could have guessed? I was just, there are so many possibilities I feel like I've opened up in my mind of books I'm going to read just by entering the library, even though the same catalog is available online. I've been using it for Libby. It's just different. It's just different when you pick up a physical book from the library and they have this wrapped in a plastic wrap and it has the little pockets on the back where you put your thing in there and it's just old and there's old due dates from when people checked out the book from the 90s. I'm like, this is just libraries, man. What a novel concept. Quite frankly, I'm a fan. I don't know if you guys agree. Libraries. Shadow of the Torture by Gene Wolfe. Uh, I had no idea what I was going into. Um, I just picked up this book. I saw it in the stacks. I'm like, you know what? That's on my list. I'll, t I'll pick it up. Uh, and the more I hear about this book, the more excited I am about this series. Uh, it's been touted as more complicated than Malazan. <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time. I love Malazan. Uh, and I didn't know there were sequels to the book. I didn't know if it was a standalone. It's a whole series, this whole world I'm about to embark on. Uh, I'm a, just under halfway through the book. Uh, I already have a, a decent head start going into it. I'm not going to share my thoughts now, but let's just say I am extraordinarily excited to finish this book. Over the moon. More, more complicated than Malazan. Perhaps a more enriching world, some would say. I'm excited to find out, quite frankly. And you know what? I, I wasn't... I, when I, when I go into a book completely blind like this, I'm like, okay, Shadow of Torture. Literally, the only thing I know about it is that it's on my list. What a magical experience. And the more I learn about this, this book and this series, the more excited I am. I can't emphasize them enough. I'm excited. Did I tell you that? I'm excited to finish this book and to give you my review, to share my thoughts. <sighs> Hot start to the month. Uh, the second book uh, we're going to read is the book, I think I also mentioned it on the channel, I don't remember what video it was, uh, but is The Skin of Dreams uh, by Raymond Cuneau. Uh, it is the book I got at that translated bookstore that I mentioned that, that opened up beside me. Uh, I did start it. I'm like 20 pages into it. It's, it's going to be a bit of a denser one, right? Tra this translation, it just, it's, it's translated. It sure is translated, am I right? You can tell it's not the language that it was written in. Uh, hopefully it, it, it's good, but I feel like if I'm going to drag anywhere, I'm going to drag on it. But you know what? I spent my hard earned dollar bills on this book and I'm not going to end up like this guy. Okay. Screaming for help, desperate for assistance, squeezing under the pages. Won't be me. I'm going to finish this book and it's short too. It's only 200 pages. And you know what? Shadow of the Torture is short too. So I think I can finish both of these books with pure determination with pure determination in the next few days before the first third of the month is done. And where does that put us? With two thirds of a month to go, I'll tell you where it puts us. It puts us squarely back in the world of the last book of the fallen. Yes, 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 yes. You're the slowest rereader of all time. I've heard it all before. Everyone who, who was here for the Malazan has long since left in, in, in rage. I mean, not reading it. But you know what? It's back. Midnight Tides, a fantastic book. A, ver a, a book I'm very excited to re-enter. A prequel in this world. Oh, fantastic book is Midnight Tides. And I can't wait to jump back into this world. And, and you know what? The only thing I'm scared about is that Shadow of the Torch will be so good that I just want to continue the series really fast. But I'm excited to jump back into Malazan as well. This is a dense one, though. Will I finish it this month? Wouldn't bet on it, to be honest with you. But we're going to finally dive back in. I know I said last month that I was going to try. There, there's no try. 
there is only due this month. We will start Midnight Tides this month. But like I said, we're not going to finish it. So we're not just going to read two books, two and a half books, two and a quarter books, depending on how far I get in the lesson. We're going to read uh, maybe another, maybe a left turn. Uh, when the Bow Breaks by Jonathan Kellerman. This is one of the books I got in my haul during Christmas of my older book stack here. So this is a first edition, 1985, Jonathan Kellerman. His debut book, first edition. So you know what? <laughs> Do we look the same? Is this worth any money? First edition? Regardless, I'm going to read it because that's what books are for, to be read. Uh, I don't really know what it's about, to be honest with you. Uh, it is a crime novel. Other than that, red pages, blood perhaps, perhaps a murder. Who knows? Who knows? Again, hitting the camera, making it all, go all willy-nilly. This month is about exploration, right? No idea what this book is about, where it's going. No idea what this book is about, where it's going. I've read this book, so I know exactly where it's going. I have no idea where this book is about. Is June the month of funky time wherever we go, the world will take us? Perhaps it is. And if by some miracle I finish this book with a lot of time to spare, I'm still digging through Midnight Tides. We'll probably read Crooked Kingdom, I imagine. Uh, just wrap that series up, knock a couple books off of this shelf, because that is... The goal, I got to keep saying that even though it's not true anymore, because what's true is that the library card has opened up to me to a world of possibilities. Because you know what? I, I might just check out dozens of books. When I got my library card, they said, you can check up up to 50 items. 50 items, you say? <laughs> well, joy. Perhaps I will test that theory. What would I do with 50 library books? Can't read 50 books in 21 days. That's the limit they gave me. But perhaps you can try. So, but I got to read at least one book off my shelf here, off the shelf. Even though it's all covered up now by typewriters and plants and stacks of other things, there are books back there. And they have been sitting there for quite a while. So we got to get through them eventually. Uh, but this is the one we're going to focus on this month. I think uh, looking ahead, if I was going to make a prediction for July, perhaps the wager. The wager has been sitting there for a while. But you know what? I'm just pumped about reading, man. The weather is nice here where I live. So I just like last weekend when I got my library card, did I tell you I get my library card? I just sat outside, enjoyed the weather, sat in a park, reading my book. Oh, summertime. It's magical. It's magical. I may never have to spend another dime again on books. That being said, if I really do like this translation, I will be buying more. Don't you like it when he jiggles? That's all I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys are reading in the month of June. Uh, I ask that question all the time, but here's another question for you. Libraries, how about we start going physically again? Okay? I think it'd be cool if we all just went at once. Cause you know what? All those library workers too, they were all just pleasant people. <laughs> Put me in a good mood for the rest of the week. Let me tell you that. Sorry, I didn't expect that to be that loud when I banged the books on the table. And I, and it, the rest assured, rest assured, it was the bottom, it was the, the, the plastic back. I'm not damaging library books, guys, and I'm not damaging first editions, okay? Sorry, I'll do it more gently. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like the video you want to see more like in the future. And as always, thanks for sticking around.